Hey guys, it's been a while. How y'all doing? So, okay. Quarantine has got me doing things that I find really cool. Okay, I actually dug through a lot of my closets the other day, and I found a lot of old tech. And hence this video. All right, so we're gonna be going through some old tech. Which, I mean, well, compar comparatively to me, it's old, but to some of you guys, it might not be. So, I mean, I have a few, maybe five, six devices here, so I thought we'd just run through them and sort of a review. I thought it'd be interesting. I, I, I mean, it was a fun video for me to shoot. I hope you guys like it. So, let's just get right into it. The first device I'm going to be looking at is the iPhone. iPad, right? So this is actually the first or the second iPad to have come out or uh, that Apple had released, right? And it was very simple packaging, just says iPad then. And this is really cool because if you think about the iPads and the devices that have come out now, these seem like they've been made 50 years ago, but actually it's just been a few, uh, maybe a decade or 15 years. Right, so I mean, we can go ahead and open this, open this box up. Um, so this is how we were greeted with this, the iPad, right? There was a plastic tab, which is kind of worn out now because it's really old. That we pull over and I'm guessing the iPad would just be lying there with the power cable and well, the general stuff, you know, Apple gives. Um, and actually, if you look at it, the, the top of this box, as a paper napkin that I guess is supposed to protect the iPad. This is really cool. Like I don't think any of the new devices have this. It's kind of fascinating, honestly. It's a uh, funny intricate thought. So this is the device itself. This is the iPad. This this device is re I, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's it's a very fascinating device. I think this is one of the first. It was. I think the tablets were out before this. If uh, I'm not, I'm not actually sure. So these are one of the few, of the first big screen devices to come out. This the power is definitely dead, but you can see actually how thick this is. It's it's a brick. It it isn't. If you compare it to the iPads right now, this is heavy. I'm sure this weighs over 500 grams without a doubt yeah so now i mean obviously now we have fingerprint and i mean in the new ipad we actually have a lidar sensor at the back and over here we have a a punch hole for the camera which is definitely like two megapixels and you'd still see people walking around and taking pictures on them it's kind of fascinating so this is the 32 gb variant of the ipad 2 that hardly functions anymore I mean, it's quite laggy, honestly. It's not that it doesn't work. It's just really laggy. Which, I mean, it could be a problem, but we, we could make it work. So, yeah, and the, the charging port as well. I don't think I don't think any device would have this kind of charging port before. I don't know if I have the charger. I'm not sure I do. No, I do not have the charger with me. But, but it's, it's fascinating, right? So, yeah, that's that. Now... This is this is actually the first device that I got for myself. Like it's as my device. It's the iPod Touch fifth generation. This is this this was really fascinating at the time because it was an iPod that you could actually use like a phone. It just didn't have cellular data, and it was really fascinating. So I have it in this bulky cover, but I should probably just snap it open. Um, so I was really prone, as you can see, to dropping my phone. So, so, so that's why I got this. It's a, it's a three-piece cover, actually. It was kind of fascinating. It's the first time I went to the U.S. and I got this. So here you go. This is the blue variant of the iPod Touch, and it is it, this really fascinating device, wasn't it? I mean, it was an iPod, right? Which is practically it was practically a phone with just no sim the no sim card installation right it, it, it's cool so 
I think this is the first time Apple came up with these color variants or I think they did have a nano as well, right? Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, they did have on the nano. So if you if you look at this, this had a I I'm not sure what this is. I think it's for the for the strap so you so you wouldn't drop your uh drop your iPod. I never used this personally, never thought it was a cool feature. But I mean maybe for some people it could be useful, right? So yeah, that then obviously the just I mean everything else is pretty much how the iPhones are right now, right? But this again this has an aux cable. I mean I use the iPhone six and this has an aux cable too. So it's not much difference. I mean, I guess it just didn't have a earpiece over here. It didn't have a speaker there. It just had a front camera because obviously it was not meant to be uh, talked on. Or, yeah, yeah, to talk on. Well, other than that, it had a regular camera. And I think that touch bar did something. I do not recollect now, but I'm sure it did something. I think you would touch it to something and it, it would get connected. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, this is a fascinating device too. I was, I mean, this is an exciting device for me personally, right? Because again, I told you it was my first device and I, I, I found it fascinating, right? So yeah, that's that. Okay, so now we will go on to the next next item. This is actually, this is actually really cool, right? So this is the iPod Classic that's that that is a brick this was i think the first ipod to that apple released and they released a device with that just stored songs and it would store thousands of songs this i think was the 160 gb variant which is really fascinating because nobody had thought of a device that just stored songs and it had a screen and it had a sensitive or touch sensitive it had a a circuit I, I can show you in a second so let's just go through the box so here there you go you could watch videos on it you had playlists you had music it was it was a different it was a whole different and a new device that came in came into the world right it, it was very fascinating so the, the the packaging i think right now is similar to the iphone 8 i i think yeah yeah the iphone 8 they had black packaging for the the black variant or the space gray variant of the phone and i don't think they have that anymore i think that i think yeah it's now uh, um depending on the color of the iphone there the boxes color changes right yeah that's so that's the thing now so again see this again had a foam padding over here to protect the screen and the rest of the ipod right so that's uh for the dial it's a touch sensitive dial that's what i was coming at so uh, yeah, this is just generally the box with the cover where the iPod would sit and again the general manual that Apple gives with every of every one of their devices and this actually has foam at the bottom as well Keeping the iPod really well padded, which is which is very fascinating. And I think Apple should continue continue that and well Yeah, yeah So this is the device itself so the back is silver and really scratched and a lot of fingerprints that I tried to get rid of but didn't really get off, right? So so well, yeah, this is the touch sensitive dial and I do not think this has a charge but like the, if you look at the power button as well, it's not like uh, for example the iPod touch did, right? It had a button. This on the other hand has a sliding button that actually turn the iPad iPod on this definitely does not have charge again but this is thick right if you see the iPod touch and if you compare it to this iPod there's a huge difference it, it is a massive difference so if I were to compare it and if you guys could look at it, you can see the thickness or the difference in thickness of the devices it, it's quite it's quite big honestly like at least an mm or two or maybe three or maybe three right so so i mean yeah that's a huge change from this ipod to this one this one had a screen but well it wasn't touch screen it had a sensitive dial which was cool definitely but this had a touch screen touch screen and it was a lot more i mean obviously it was quite recent compared to this but this is a cool piece of tech too 
I think it's one of Apple's biggest devices at the time. Okay, so now with I think we're done with the Apple devices. <laughs> we're gonna be going into different devices now. Okay, so first I'm gonna pull out the Nintendo DS IXL. So this I think is may maybe if I'm not mistaken about five or uh, seven seven eight years old this particular one the one i have i'm not sure when this device was released but this is just the inner box i don't have the outer cover for it anymore but this is the nintendo dsi xl so well if you oh, it's, this is actually the limited i got the limited edition so i guess you can see it right here it's a limited edition it's the mario edition i do not know if you guys can read but if you read that and it's, it's a limited Mario edition. It's the red color one. Uh, so if you, I mean, if you open the box, obviously the DSi isn't in here. But so it's obviously Nintendo just gives a number of papers. And <laughs> this actually has the this manual of the Wii. That that was once very a device that was had quite a pull, but. I, I think you guys know no, that doesn't happen anymore so this is the manual for this so there were these two colors and this is the one I have which I will show you in just a second so other than that in the box there's just there's a stylus the stylus that I did not know I was I, I, I have actually been looking for this and turns out it was just in the box that's probably the first place I should have checked but all right so this is, I mean, it lit, this legit looks like a pen. It very much looks like a pen, but it's in fact a stylus. So if we were just to put the box away now. So the, the Nintendo DSi is here itself. I had a cover for it because I thought it'd be cool. And this is, this zip and everything is stuck on this thing. And with great difficulty, I managed to get it half open. So these are just a few games that I had. This was the first game that I had got on the Nintendo, the Avatar. So this was really fascinating, right? So I don't know if you guys have played this. This is the, the Legend of Aang, right? So this is the one where you would be different benders, right? There would be different benders. I, I think you know what Avatar is. So that, that was the first game I have ever played in my life. Um, and this was another game I had, which Custom Robo Arena, which I don't really remember what it was. I'm not sure. I think it was just you. I think you. Oh yeah, I think you had to create personalized robots, and you would just yeah yeah right yeah. So you um, would uh, customize your own robots. You keep getting upgrades to it, and eventually you'd try to get the strongest you can be and you would compete against other robots which is I don't think it was online but just against the computer and try to bury yourself until you finish the game so this is the DSi itself it's a bright glossy red color I love it it's, it's beautiful so it's a Super Mario Bros 25th anniversary edition and it's beautiful you can, you can see the characters right there that's nice. that's beautiful I, I really like the the way they've designed this i think this is the first console not console the ga first gaming device that i ever had i think i actually think this no this actually came before the ipod touch this this came before the ipod touch and right yeah so well yeah this did come before the ipod touch to me and at that point i didn't really know what gaming was i was just a very innocent little boy, you know? <laughs> so this is the inside of the DSi and I think a lot of people will feel the nostalgia when, this, when seeing this. So, I mean, it had, a, it had a front camera right in the center, if you see, between both the screens. and had a mic next to it, labeled mic. <laughs> and, well, yeah, other than that, it just had the, the, w -A, the X, Y, A, B, numbers and I'm not used to that I use the PS4 um, well I mean we can try turning this on by doubt oh it turns on it, it oh that that's 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 the sound that all of us remember well so this is obviously the DSI and I oh I did have 
um, a cartridge, a gaming, a game cartridge that had over 150 games. I don't know where it is. I'm not sure if it's well, it isn't in here. Oh, it's it's in it's in here. Okay. Um. So, yeah, this one. This was actually originally originally for the 3DS. I don't know if you guys can see anything but there you go for the 3ds but this has over 150 games in it i think it had games that have never actually been released as separate cartridges before it had spongebob it had a game called warrior con and i think that's a game that i played a lot uh so what what that is essentially was you um you again it's like the robot game where you battle other 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 warriors in a console against the computer right and you would keep trying to get more new devices until i think the the max device you could get was if i'm not mistaken it was a taser it was it was a taser yeah it shot tasers i don't know if that's i don't know if that's clear but it shoots tasers so you could tase the opponent till the end of the game it was very OP and I I never reached there, but, but yeah, that, that, this was a great device. And so I think I, I love this, so I think one of Nintendo's best, definitely one of Nintendo's best. So this is the, this is the DSi XL, right? Okay. So, well, yeah, that's that. That's, that's the DSi XL. This is a really cool device, honestly. I really like this device. Well, so next, so this goes, I think this is actually much older than the devices I just showed you. So this is, first, this, this is the Walkman. This is an MP3 audio music player. And this is not even mine, this is my dad's. This is really old, this was, this is, I think this was much before I was born. And it's an MP3 player, and I think, judging on how, I mean, it's not in the best condition. But this, I don't even know if it works anymore. Oh, definitely. So, so well, okay, the batteries have leaked too, so it's definitely dead. Uh, so this is actually an MP3 AM and FM stereo, is what it says on over here. And this had 30 stations preset, so 30 radio stations preset. And you could... Additionally, add your own songs. It had a small screen here, and it, it, it was it was cool. So you could change your channels from there, and you could have personalized channels for the rest of the numbers. And I mean, just general play, pause, and fast forward, and reverse buttons on top, right? And they had a clip, so you could put it onto your shots. I'm guessing. So yeah, that's that's actually it had a, it had a switch to rewind and fast forward I do not know why that's there because there are buttons right here but they did have a rewind and fast forward button right here which is again I mean it's cool it's cool it's a really cool device that I have never used before but I'm not really sure if there's an aux cable okay there is an aux cable here okay and the volume is controlled by a dial this is this is another device that could actually get the nostalgia out in some people it's cool it's it's a really cool device probably one of the first mp3 players to come out i'm i'm sure it was the first actually i'm not 100 percent sure but i would assume so okay now this this is this is a really really cool device again nintendo i have a lot of nintendo devices no i have three okay never mind so this is a, re a really old game and I've played this when I was small because this was still functioning when I was born except this was bought when my maybe in the 1970s this is a really old device or maybe 80s I'm not don't don't, don't count me on that but so this is Nintendo game and watch the bomb sweeper game so I'm sure a lot of you have played this game. If not, this so what you'd have to do is you'd have to run away from the people chasing you, right? And you you wanna you just do the bomb, right? You don't wanna let the bomb blast. Essentially, you don't want let you don't wanna let the bomb blast. You are running behind him, not you're not getting that. Okay, so you are running behind the 
the bomber and you're trying to catch him right and so wait this is it, it this is again multi-screen so this is how the inside looked this is how the inside looks so this is the bomb sweeper and you can already see that so it's not turned on but those are the that those are the preset screen yeah so those are the preset screen the um, backgrounds so obviously you have the controller you have this game A, game B. So I think these are two separate games. So you can choose which game you would want to play using these buttons here, which is really cool, honestly. I think this was a really old device as well. I mentioned that five times before this, but I'm not sure how you turn this thing on anymore. Oh, the, these have the other cells, you know, the tablet cells. Yeah, so this is run by those. And well, honestly, it's 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 a really fascinating device. Um, well, I mean, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Yeah, I think it's somewhat like the Game Boy. I don't actually have the Game Boy Game Boy with me right now. Why? I do not know. Do not ask me. But that would be that would be that would have been really cool. So this doesn't actually even have an aux cable or anything in it. So I guess the the oh there was no oh there's no audio on this. There is no audio on this device, right? So you just see the screens and you play. There's no audio or... Yeah, there's no, there's no audio on it. And the animations aren't like what we see today. The animations are much more basic. And as you can see, the, the screen backgrounds already are preset. So they don't really change. So it's quite fascinating, honestly. And and these... So you see the lampposts and the railings over there. I'm not sure if you can see them, but those are actually stickers and they're not on the background so if you see that one right there and that one right there are stickers and they're not actually on the background of the screen which is which is crazy because right now you'd be like oh what the hell why would they do that but back then if this device was really hidden it okay so now the last device which is actually my favorite device i didn't really use much because i don't think it was very well functioning when I got it. This was actually, I'm not sure when this was. Okay, but this is the Mario Bros. Nintendo Game and Watch multi screen. So it is the Mario console. This is just Mario, which is which which sounds awesome. It it genuinely just sounds awesome. So this is the Mario Bros. edition. Um, I'm not sure actually when this was bought, but yeah, it's very fascinating. So let's just get the device out. Oh well, obviously it has a four. And that that is the device itself. That's a very fascinating cover for it. The gold, the gold background, the shiny gold background with Mario Bros. Mario and Luigi. Which, which is beautiful, it's, it's really nice to see. And again, multi-screen, right? So when you open it, you have dual screens and again with preset backgrounds, which is beautiful. So you would have one screen to, to control Luigi and you have another one to control Mario, which, which is really cool. So you could again choose which screen you wanted to use with these buttons here. So game A and game B. So this device, I mean, it's it's a really fascinating device, to be honest. It's, I mean, again, one of the first gaming consoles, not consoles, one of the first gaming devices that actually existed, right? So what you want to do, you would want to control Mario and then Luigi and try to get to the end, which is over there. This is really interesting, right? So at least for me, I really like gadgets and I enjoy these kind of things. So I'm hoping you guys enjoy this video too. Well, that was the last device, and I don't have any. I don't have any other devices that I thought or that I considered old, right? So I have this camera, but it's really not that old. It's from 2011. This is the Sony camera that I would record videos on, but I haven't got to it yet. This actually has a this actually has a panorama. I think one of the first cameras to get panorama in it. And well, yeah, I think I have the camera right here. It's, it's the camera right here. This is the camera I was talking about. But 
I mean, it isn't again. It's not that old, right? It's 2011. And, well, yeah, so it isn't that old. Or, I mean, again, this is not that old either, but it meant a lot to me, so I thought I'd review it because I knew what I wanted to say. Well, I guess that's, that's about all that is to today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed um, just doing this video myself. And let me know what else you want me to do because... I'm genuinely struggling for video ideas. So I think one of one one idea I had been suggested by one of my friends was a day in the life of a vegan. Which again I while I do think is interesting. I don't know if you guys will enjoy it, so if you wanna see that video, let me know. If you wanna see a Reddit video, let me know. I will try arranging that. Um or just give me give me your own ideas honestly. Tell me what you would like to see in the future. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later. See ya.